Ooh. All right. Now, the videos you've been waiting for. It's fun time. This is like the honestly the best part of build building drones. It's this final assembly time because this is the part where you can make it all personalized, you know? And to keep the theme of having fun while building drones, I put on a fun shirt. So let's go, right? All right. But no, seriously, this is why this is where building drones is so much fun. It's because you get to after all the technical and software work is done, you get to really enjoy customizing it and kind of like designing it. All right, so some of the fun stuff that we're gonna be putting on today is gonna be the props. We're finally gonna have props on our drone. I know, it's so big, right? Having props on a drone, that means you're very near to the final step. And then, uh, as usual, we're gonna, have the, we're gonna have to put on the battery pad and the top plate. Let me, that was backwards. The battery pad and the top plate, just to make it look like a final quad. We also have our camera plates to put in, so we're gonna have to mount the cameras. Second to last is the Rush FPV uh, Cherry antenna. So this is a custom uh, aftermarket, let's just say. This is the aftermarket antenna for the Vista. And I hope it does make a big difference because it will, a lot of people have said that the stock antenna that I have on here right now doesn't really transmit as best as like aftermarket ones. So we're going to be throwing this on and giving it a try. In the coming months, I will make a review of which one's better, stock or aftermarket, because this is all new to me, so why not film it? So yeah, we're going to be installing the Rush Cherry antenna. And then we're also gonna be throwing the, uh, the locking nuts for the stack screw because currently I only have two on there right now. It was just to lock it down when I was doing all the uh, unplugging and everything because everything was just getting jostled. So yeah, after that, we're just gonna give the, uh, the quad a final rundown and a bolt check and she will be finished. Well, actually no, she won't be finished just yet because we have all the TPU parts to 3D print. But for today, we're just gonna be final assemblizing it. Ready? Let's go. Okay, so what we're gonna start off with is the uh, stack screws because we need to get those on there before, oh my God, there's a spider off my camera. Hell no. Nah. Get off. Fucking hell. All right, anyways, distraction aside for this video, we're gonna start with the stack screws. So because that's gonna go on the inner uh, confines of the drone we might as well start from the inside and work ourselves outside we're just gonna get our stack screw so that's our stack nut so it should be inside in the accessories pouch of the box so that's here and there are just these little hexagonal shaped bolts so we're doing, I'm gonna get my little torque screw for these and we're just gonna throw them on box no longer need that except when you need spare parts so keep this okay so next up what we're gonna do is the camera plates because that's also internal as well so uh, we're just gonna mount the two camera plates on either side like this like we did in the uh, frame tutorial uh, only this time we will have to screw in the camera as well all right so here we have it I got the run cam box uh, inside you will find the screws that are necessary for the camera uh, so at the very bottom the accessories again and we just need this little baggie with all the big screws you're not going to use any of the tiny screws you just need two of them all right so with the camera plates if you remember the um, the way to probably put it is with this smiling face facing forward and on the upper side so the upper side of the thing so you have height adjustment so it'll be like this generally like this and the other side will be there as well only this time you will be adding the camera So later down, I'll refix the camera to whatever angle I want. But for now, we're just going to loosely put it in there just so we can have 
this part of the build checked off complete. So next part, you see how we have all this kind of uh, things hanging off everywhere? We're going to need to tape it up because we don't want any live connection points. So like uh, like these ELRS, so like these, this ELRS RX thing, we're, we don't want any water, say we fly in rain or we land in the puddle in, in the mud or something. We don't want water affecting this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up with electrical tape and we're just gonna tape up all these components. And, and at the same time, we're also gonna rip off a little bit of duct tape and kind of hard mount it into the frame. So it, it's gonna get stuck down like this. And as well as the Vista, because right now the Vista is just sliding around. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hard mount everything and tape up the, the pieces that do need tape so it prevents it from like moisture or any uh, liquids, wet, etc, etc. So now that we have the top plate on, it actually looks like a drone, doesn't it? Like top plate, motors, everything's all intact. It's There's nothing hanging out. Well, the antennas are hanging out. That's going to be addressed soon because I have to uh, make the 3D prints. And what we are going to be moving on to is actually taping uh, these motor wires together so that they don't, you know, fray out like this and cause a rocket. Here I'm going to use duct tape instead of electrical tape uh, because simply because there's no there's already silicone around the motor wires it's not going to get really that hot and it's not going to melt the adhesive on the actual motor wire so if I can get it you know what we're going we're going to use electrical tape because duct tape you're you're just killing me okay so yeah all right so uh, let's just use electrical tape. All right, so what we want to do is we want to manage these wires as the best as we can. Uh, so this side I did screw up with the soldering a little bit. It's as you can see, it's kind of like the wire is so uh, pointy and won't bend. So I did I did uh, screw up a little bit here, but it just should be okay. You can just tape the wires up like this, like that, and it will look nice. Okay, so let's just get our tape out. That should be enough. Alright, there we go. Now you want to pick it up and kind of just hold it in place so you can wrap the tape around it. And if you want to go the extra step, which I will be doing off camera like after uh, I got my 3D printed parts, is put like a uh, if you have like a broken propeller from another set of propellers or something and you want to protect your motor wires in case of a, a bent prop will cut the motor wires or something just 
snap off that uh, propeller blade and put it on the arm on top of here and tape it down. It'll act as a, like a motor wire protector uh, in case that ever happens. I have that on the Nazgold and it has saved it a couple times. have it so with the tape on it it's now complete you have built yourself a source one or whatever frame you're building I hope you guys follow along really nicely because this was a blast to make I really enjoyed I actually enjoy building despite all the like uh, hardships and stuff had to happen I actually enjoy building this um, it, it's not it wasn't so bad as like everyone it, it's definitely tedious because I'm filming this at the same time as building it so I had to build it in parts but if you were to go all out like build it all in one go it's 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 not it doesn't take that long you just need like maybe I'd say three four hours if you're really focused on it it's like you know, the closest thing I can uh, put to this is like a adult Lego set let's just say it's a that's that's what I can com compare it to all right, so we're just gonna throw the last couple of things on, so the battery straps. Oof, there's not a lot of room left. Probably I should have done this in another step, but okay. We're just gonna throw this in the middle for now. All right, so that's the battery strap. Now that you have it in, I'm gonna go off camera and mount the other one in the back here, just for my sakes, because I like running two, just in case the battery ejects when I crash. But last but not least, just for necessity, because but it's not really necessary at this point. Uh, the props. I feel like every single build video has to end with putting on the props, regardless if you're flying it, right? Because that is the final part. So we're gonna be mixing it up. We have a couple of the blue ones and we have one set of pink ones. So just for the video, I'm gonna mix it up and become contrasting color patterns just for the video. Probably not gonna fly this way because this is my only pink set, so it's probably gonna change up the props color, but either way, this is how I'm gonna do it. All right, so let's just put on these props and have fun. There you go. Build is now fully complete. Granted, uh, I still need the TPU parts, but build video has been complete. It's now a working quad. If you were to plug a battery in this and, I don't know, somehow secure the antennas so that they don't get uh, demolished in any way, it's finished, okay? What do you think of it? I, I kind of like this, uh, like, what do you call it? Synth? Synthwave kind of color? The pink and uh, blue prop kind of? I might order some more pink props. I have a lot of blue props, but I, I, I do like this. This is a good color combo, huh? So that, that is that. That is the quad in itself. It is finished. Donezo! Alright, I'm sure you're tired of hearing my voice, so I'm gonna be going because I need some water. Definitely need some water after all that talking. But yes, that is done. How do you like it? Leave in the comments below. Do you like this color pattern? I, I kind of dig this color pattern. I, I might buy some, like I said, I might buy, buy some more pink props and, and run it like this, but this is really, this is looking really nice. Might get a blue battery strap too, or a pink, I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm just rambling. And if, again, uh, you're watching this far in the video, remember to like the video, uh, hit the subscribe button below so you can see more builds and my flying progress as an FPV pilot and all that. And if you want to watch this whole series again, maybe you missed the part, I've also added an end card here. Just for you to watch the whole entire series and miss if you miss any parts, uh, definitely go check it out. If not, click on the next video, go watch it, have fun, bye.